Gewalt in Rio. Dreijähriger von Querschläger tödlich getroffen. Website for Gay Teens falls foul of Russia Gay Propaganda Ban. Straßenkinder werden wie Tiere eingefangen. Anpfiff in Brasiliens Hauptstadt des Sextourismus. Coupe du Monde. Die Milie de sans abri manifest à Sao Paulo. Brazil's sex trade. How the country's one million prostitutes are preparing for the World Cup. La prostitution infantile rival à bâtir. FIFA World Cup hits the poorest hardest. The impact of major sporting events extends far beyond the playing field. As initiatives like Taldism, Children Win Project show, children and the communities surrounding them often suffer the consequences of these colossal events. What is less clear is the extent to which the media covers the impact of these events. Looking at media coverage from newspapers and online sources in 12 different countries, researchers from the German Sports University analyze key words in relation to 2014's three major events, the Sochi Winter Olympics, the Brazil FIFA World Cup, and the Glasgow Commonwealth Games, in a bid to determine the amount of coverage dedicated to this topic. Based on account of the results, countries were grouped according to either high, nascent, or minimal awareness. Some countries, like the United Kingdom, the United States, or Brazil, provided a vast majority of results. Others, like the Netherlands or Germany, fell somewhere in the middle. And still others, like Russia, India, Italy, or Switzerland, paid little to no attention to the issue. What makes some media pay attention and others not? There is no simple answer. The cultural relevance of an event plays an obvious role. Countries that participate in winter sports pay more attention to the winter games, and countries that are in the Commonwealth pay more attention to the Commonwealth games. Country-specific reasons also vary. While the reasons in Russia may seem evident, a repressive government and little freedom of the press, the reasons are less than clear in places like Switzerland or Italy, both of whom enjoy strong freedoms and strong sporting histories. What are the underlying social and cultural factors that foster awareness? Answering this question is key, and will undoubtedly allow for stronger advocacy. The press must also be properly targeted. In countries with higher awareness, detailed and advanced information may be appropriate. In countries with lower awareness, more background information may be required. In the end, with this stronger advocacy, we can make sure that in four years' time, no one will ignore the suffering caused to children in the name of a multi-billion dollar spectacle. <laughs>